Hello everyone, this is Lee the Appraiser for another episode of Amazing Appraising. I'm here with Mrs. Silver. Mrs. Silver. 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 Mrs. Silver. Jewelry? Silver? Wow. I'm Miss Match Blue. Made in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. We had a woman here, Mrs. Gold, about half an hour ago. Okay. So, um, tell us. First of all, how did you hear about us? I mean, I just walked past you yesterday. Oh, okay, cool. So you work around here, live around here, school? I live around here. Okay, cool. Okay, so tell me what we have. We have three rings here. How did you acquire them? Um, these are old family um, jewelry that I had lying around. Okay. Now what we have here, I don't know if you noticed, it looks like three rings that were sort of poorly soldered together to make one. You see that? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what it looks like. Um, and you said you brought this to another jeweler, and what did he tell you? They said this one was worth at least ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars. Yeah, they said that if I sold it to someone else, that I can make more money. So that's why I didn't sell it there. If you, and what did? So they told you it was worth ten thousand. Why? Based on? Based on how long it took to make, and plus the uh, the diamonds here. Well, the diamonds are tiny little chips. So, and the diamonds are not white. So I don't even know if these are diamonds. Um, we can check that for you, but they don't look diamonds. They look like purple amethysts. And um, so he said primarily was it t that's how long it would take to make. Mm -hmm. So he estimated, what, a couple of years maybe? I mean, to come to 10,000 dollars, that'd take a long time, right? Yeah. Okay, and these, uh, he said, are, what, these are maybe 100, 200 dollars together, right? Yes. These are little chips. This actually is marked 10 karat gold, so there's very little gold here. So, um, unfortunately, we would sell these as together, maybe, um, I don't know, uh, maybe four or five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So, we typically buy it for about half pence of cash off if that works for you. Is that okay? Hmm? Uh, What's the absolute best it would take for this? Maybe more, honestly. Well, how much? What's the least you would take for this? 800. Hmm? Maybe 800, 900. 8, 900. And why do you say that? Why, why is, do you think it's worth so much? Because I really need the money, and it, to me, it looks pretty real. I mean, the diamonds, like you said, you probably should check. Well, I'll text them right in front of you here. So, um, playing a, 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 a piece of glass here. Mm -hmm. We're totally transparent. Right, Blue? <laughs> yes. Okay. You have a question about any coins, we look it up for you. You have any jewelry, we look it up for you. This is a diamond tester, full proof. We're going to check this for you. These are tiny stones, so they're actually very, very hard to test. But, and these are what they call like one pointers. That means you need a hundred of these stones to make a carrot. So, and the diamonds are supposed to be white. You see how these are purple? Mm -hmm. So they look like amethyst to me. They're too small, actually. These are too small even to show up on a machine. They're one point. Two. So, um, so you're saying he offered you probably about 200 bucks and you're looking for like 800? Mm -hmm. But you understand, even though he gave you an estimate saying it would cost upwards of 10,000, it wouldn't cost upwards of 10,000. These are manufactured you know, like machine-made rings um, that are made in mass quantities. And um, there's nothing really rare about them. So uh, it would cost a jeweler, like I could make this ring brand new for maybe 400 bucks. Mm -hmm. And if I made a thousand of them, I could probably make it for about 300. Mm -hmm. So there's no way that you know, if you found a private person that loved them, maybe you could get six or seven. But it's hard to find. You know, this has to be repaired. You can see the box. It's not even round. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. So, do you want to hold firm? Do you want to uh, take I, my... Huh? I don't hold it for now. Okay. Take it over. It, I mean, if you decide to sell it for... Um, I mean, look, I'd love to make you a deal here, but if you decide to let, uh, you want to sell for less than 800, come back here on Sunday, and we'll give you, our, I'll test them, double check, and I'll give you my best cash offer. Okay, but I'm just saying, his price, I certainly could pay more than 200, but I couldn't pay four times what another competitor would pay, because, 
you know, business, it's, baby. It just it doesn't make sense. Yeah, they got to be repaired and everything like that. So I want to appreciate. Thank you very much for coming in here. If you have anything else in the fine watches, jewelry, art, antiques, please come by and see us. And um, we have a radio show here on Sunday. Radio show on Sunday. Mm -hmm. you or you could check it out on Spotify if it's easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. A pleasure. Bye.